Three now. Let's play this and see how this works. All right, so it's going fast, obviously, because we put like a very short delay time, but that's how it works. Welcome back to another tutorial on reactive metal. Today, we're going to be making a simple tutorial, and it's basically a day night system. Um, it's actually really simple. It's not as complicated as you think it might be. Um, so just before we get started, we're going to be manipulating this service right here called light. Now, I'm not sure how, uh, how much you know of this, but basically it's very useful. Uh, we're going to use some properties such as time of day, I think, or not time of day. You can, you can use time of day. Um, but I think we'll use clock time just because we can actually add it uh, to this. So as you can see, it's 14. I can change this to 15, uh, 16, 17. You can see it gets darker. Then I can put something like early, so like zero. That's all. Well, that's a mid, mid. Oh, what the hell did I do? That's a midnight. What? Oh, okay. Sorry, that's weird. Clock time. Five. Uh, nine. So basically, uh, zero would be midnight. So 12 o'clock a.m. Uh, 12. That would be 12 p.m. And then like 20, for example, would be, I think, 8 o'clock p.m., for example. Right, so that's how the clock time exactly works. Um, and we're going to be changing that. We're going to be manipulating that. So let's make a server script and server script service. Let's make two variables. Um, we're going to be doing lighting. So local local lighting equal game dot lighting and then I'm gonna put like a delay so like how fast you want the time to go so local delay time so for each minute because we're also gonna be making a GUI right here that tells us the um, that tells us the exact time and we're gonna string format it and I'm gonna show you how so delay time is put one so one second for each minute, I guess you can say. Each minute passes, it'll be one second. Um, we can actually, for now, just, like whatever, you know. We'll change that later. Okay, let's make a function. So, time, uh, time, how do you go? Time go, or what? The, I don't even know. Time, time, Whatever, it can be anything. So just like daytime, I don't know, or day night cycle. So day cycle. I don't know. It can be anything. I was, I was, you know, didn't think of a good one. Uh, a good name for the function. What's it called again? Uh, time. Oh, ch time change. Let's call it time change. It can be anything, but I just want a good name to go with it. That's all. So, we got the function. Now, let's make a while to do loop first. Okay, so of course, we do that because we want it to occur forever. It's a cycle, right? It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be looping forever. And then, what we can do is actually make, um, make one variable here so local minutes equal zero so we're going to start off with zero we're going to start off with uh zero minutes and then what we can do is actually let's see let's see okay so local minutes so we're going to add a minutes plus equals one so every time now i'm going to put a wait here so wait delay time which is one second so every second, the minute adds up, and then we will slowly change it to the the clock time, and so it will change basically like the appearance uh, of the uh, environment. All right, but how do you actually make it work? So we're gonna use a string format or something. I'm not, you know, I, I'm, I don't even really know a lot about like formatting and stuff. So basically, you just need to do a local. I think it was local, I forgot. Uh, local minutes in an hour, I think. Local minutes 
after midnight equals, I mean, this was the current minutes, right, that we're adding up, then percent 60 times 24. I'm not too sure exactly what this means, but there is 60 minutes in an hour, and then 24 hours in a day. So that's what the formatting really does. And then we'll make another variable. So local hours equals equals minutes after mid midnight divide by 60. So we'll divide uh, minutes by 60. We'll get to one hour, and then we don't really have to round this because we want the exact um, the exact time for the clock time. Then we use hours to set for the clock time. So light uh, lighting the clock time equals hours. I think I think um this should work. Let's call the function time change. Let's see if this works. So we'll look at the clock time in lighting right here. So right now it's twenty. Let's put this to zero. Let's see if this works. Actually, before, oh yeah, I think I, okay, well, let's just see if it works to begin with. Uh, so, so far, as you can see, clock time is actually changing right now. You can't really see it. Like, I don't know if you, okay, you guys probably can't see it. But I'll just make it faster so you guys can actually, okay. So, delay time is 0 0.1. It should be much faster now. So, I think it's a bit more noticeable. Go as you can see, clock time is actually going pretty fast. Not f as fast, but you can you'll be able to see soon enough the changes. So I can see the moves going down. But yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Now, I'm not sure if actually let's put like wait the default wait. And then let's see whether or not, I think it should work, yeah, it should work automatically. Like, should we start automatically, because I think we did, like, format it. Okay, as you can see, it's much more smoother, actually. I didn't realize it. Okay, now it's getting lighter. Coming okay, daytime. Okay, so we've got all the lighting. But right now it's 8 in the morning. 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I think actually, um, yes, yeah, so 21, 22, 23, 24, 24. Yeah, and that's for starting. So I think I did confuse guys a little bit, and I think. Minutes, let's actually rename this. So minutes is when, how many minutes like in total. Um, so it will go over 20, like 24 times 60 or whatever, how much uh, minutes that is. So more than minutes in a day. But to use minutes here, it should, it should actually be minutes. So minutes in an hour, minutes in a day, day, minutes in a day. Because that's how it works. I'm not, because this is a bit confusing for me even because I don't really know a lot about string formatting and stuff like that. So we're actually gonna just do uh oh, keep it with that like that. Uh this is minutes in total. So the amount of minutes like that we added up since like the beginning of the server, right? Alright. So how do we make like a sort of GUI or a label that shows its clock time? And it's formatted correctly, like twelve o'clock, like twelve thirty, whatever. So let's make a screen UI real quick. And then a text label. Let's make this pretty fast. So let's put this at 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Uh, text color, make it white. Text guild. Source sand. I like Gotham Black. Gotham Black is my favorite. Uh, so it will be something like this. You want something like this. Let me show you guys real quick. Let's remove the background. So something like that. Now, this is actually not my script, so I'm gonna show you. Hold a second. So right here, I'm gonna put the script in the description, so don't worry. But oh god, I think I forgot. 
Um, okay, yeah, I forgot. But I think I got the script now. Okay, so this is the script for the um, text GUI. So GUI equals script parent. Let's, let's do that. I uh, could be putting this inside the text label. I just should work automatically. By the way, this is not my script. Um, all this does it it gets the clock time and it formats it into the tech, the correct text format, uh, like this basically. So it should work perfectly now. Let's play this and let's see how this works. All right. So it's going fast, obviously, because we put like a very short delay time, but that's how it works. Start at midnight and then it keeps on going uh, forever. So let's just put it normally to one. Then it should work normally, like what most games do. Um, actually, oops, I forgot. It's wait, wait, delay time. There we go. And then this should work uh, perfectly. In most games, they're like this. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. If you want, you can join our Discord server and comment with, uh, what tutorials you want next in the comment section below. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.